Hey guys, how are you? So, I'm currently working on improving different parts of Better Pay Menu. For example, right now I'm working on the lighting, rendering, compositing part. And the goal of the add-on is to be as fast as possible and to do everything inside the 3D view. And if you need to go inside uh, a menu, you can directly, for example, call the menu like that. Or this one. I can do something like that too. Okay, I can show the info, the shader editor, the UV editor, and the preferences if necessary, geometry node, the browser. I can even call the dub sheet, the um, timeline, graph editor, etc. Okay, so as you can see, uh, you can do everything, and if you need to call something, you can call it. Okay, so. Since it's been a long time I didn't made any tutorial, we will make a render on this asset. And I will show you what I added uh, this week on Better Pay Menu. And I hope you will like it. Okay, let's start. Uh, what I will do first is to create a camera. I will press Shift A, I will choose camera and add camera to view. And as you can see, it created a camera inside my view. I will call the uh, 3D view area by menu and I will activate the uh, camera to view. Like that, I will be able to move inside my camera. Okay? I can disable it and I can do this. So what I can do also is to split my area. So this one will be my render. I will activate the render. Like that. And this one, I will exit. So exit the camera, I will be able to work on it. If necessary, I can call the outliner or the properties. Okay. On this one, I will disable the toggles, the overlays, my bad. And that's it. As you can see right now, I have an HDRI map. So if I call the shading pop-up, I use this uh, map here. But this is, uh, I will have a different result if I launch it here and launch it here. So what I will do is to add a send world and add an environment texture. I will choose the HDRI and I will select one that is, uh, that could be nice. Let's try this one. Okay. Let's make a rotation. As you can see, it's interesting. I'm not a big fan, so let's change it. So I will add this, replace the environment texture. I will go back to this and I will try another one. I think it was this one, the, the good one. Up. Maybe not. Oh, it's interesting. But uh, to arrange. And right now I'm using the uh, modal to edit my uh, area map, for my uh, HDMI map. So I'm pressing Control Shift and Middle Mouse button. I keep pressing those uh, keys and I rotate my area uh, with the mouse horizontally. So let's select another one. Mm, let's select something interesting. Let's try this one. Okay, let's rotate it to see if we have something interesting. Uh, no, I'm not fan. Up. Oh, let's try. I think it was this one. Up. Yes, this one is interesting. Okay, so let's try to find a direction that will be nice. Okay, so like I said, uh, Control Shift Middle Mouse button and I move my mouse horizontally. And if I move my mouse vertically, I will change the power of this light. Okay, so I can do something like that. Up. Let's do this like that right now. Okay, so I have this. What I can do is first maybe uh, select my camera. So I will come here, why not, select my camera, and I will call the uh, smart menu, uh, activate the depth of field, and I can pick an object or I can pick a distance. But if I press shift and click on this one, I will create an empty, be sure I'm on the face, and I will be able to snap this empty on faces. So if you check here, we have the empty, as you can see here, okay? So for my camera, I will select it. If I change the value, like that, as you can see, hop, I will zoom. I have my depth of field and here this is clean. 
So it was really easy to add this. So I can, like I said, select the camera, use the selected object if I want, use the distance, pick the distance, or create an empty like that. Maybe the uh, f-stop is a little bit too big. Let's decrease it. Yes, this is better. Okay. So just with this, what can we do? Uh, I think I can change this material. So I'm currently using uh, a plastic, as you can see here. So I can edit the color. Up. Let's edit uh, this one. Like that. I can also edit the roughness. roughness to have something more like that. Okay, so this is interesting. I can increase the power of my HDR map. Like that, this is still interesting. And you can also select uh, different presets. I'm currently using a cycle viewport uh, with the noise. I can click just to show you. It will recreate everything. Okay, so as you can see, this is nice. What we can do now is something interesting. I will select this plane. I will press Shift A, and on the light, I will press Shift on the spot. It will create a spot, as you can see, and it will add a track to constraint on this selection. The, se the selection will be the target. So after that, since I'm still have, I still have my uh, my uh, modal to change the power of this light, I can increase the value. Like that, as you can see. Or let's try to increase it directly like that first to check. And as you can see, I will disable it to show you. It will create this. Okay. So right now I can edit uh, this one. Maybe let's try to move it uh, to this side, maybe. Just to test. Or to this side. I'm just trying to find uh, a direction that will give me something interesting. Okay, so let's try with this one. This is not so bad. With this one on the smart menu for for lights, uh, you have the gobo texture. Okay, so you can add an image, a movie. You can add this one. This is a brick. Uh, let's use a wave, like that. Okay, let's increase this spot size, up, like that, and the spot blend. Okay. And as you can see, I, cre I created this. And if we come here, just to show you what we that will do, that will do this. Okay. So I can, after that, uh, hide it if I don't want to use it. I can change the gobo size and I can decrease the visibility of this one. Up. So let's just uh, go come back in solid for this one. And let's decrease the visibility. Yes. Like that, this is not so bad. And as you can see, this is nice. But um, there is some issues with this, is that if we add gobos like this, these shadows uh, are really sharp. And if I want uh, shadows that are uh, more like that, uh, I need to uh, show the gobos a lot like that. And maybe add, uh, maybe I will try to add something that will imp that will uh, increase the visibility of the gobos, but I'm not sure this is possible because the radius will, um, how, how to tell that, the radius will flatten the uh, shadows, as you can see here. If I decrease the radius, I have some something like that, and if I increase it, as you can see, I will increase it a lot. The shadows are like that, but uh, the gobos is uh, itself uh, more uh, blurred. Okay, so let's try to find something where we can see the gobos and where we can up, have something interesting. Yes, right now we can see the gobos and we have something interesting. I can also make something more like that vertically. Up. Mm. This is also a possibility. Okay, this is not so bad like that. Okay, so as you can see, we created uh, this. Uh, if later I want to edit it, I will be able. I can increase the power of this light. Up. 
So let's, uh, or maybe I need to move it horizontally. I want to see it a little bit here. Okay, this is not so bad. Up, let's move it here. So uh, this is what we have so far, and this is not so bad. We can play with some settings. For example, uh, if I call the shading pop-up, I have a uh, decompositing part. And on this one, I can add some uh, nodes. Uh, let's add uh, a glare. And if I click here, I will be able to edit the setting of the glare. As you can see, up, this is really up, big and small. Okay. I can uh, maybe ch change the threshold. Up, like that. Okay. Same, you have the size here if necessary. Decrease the size, increase the power. Oh. Just find the value you want. Uh, after that, you can activate, change the quality up like that. So I will just decrease it a little bit, and that's it. I can also add a lens distortion up, and as you can see, it added a lens distortion. So if we zoom, you will see uh, that will uh, move the RVB. And that will give us something like that. But right now, it's, uh, in my opinion, way too big. So let's enter 0.2 to check. It must, uh, this one must be subtile. Uh, sub, uh, I don't know if it's uh, subtil in French. In French, uh, we don't. Uh, we must not see it uh, too much. So let's enter 0.1. And that's it. Uh, okay. So this is not so bad right now. What we can do also is uh, here. I can activate the white, the white balance and I can play with it. I can use a preset or I can directly change uh, the temperature. Let's make it uh, more bluish. I like this one. Let's change the direction, the color, the tint, in fact. Up. Yes, let's try the difference. Yes, this is much better. We can also, if we want, uh, in fact, let's go back in this one. Up, we have the color management. Let's use uh, the medium contrast to check. Yes, this is better. We have the exposure here. This is nice too. If necessary, we can activate the curve. Ah, not so bad, not so bad, like that. And here we can also in the compositing, up, add some, uh, this one is fun. <laughs> Not this one. Uh, add a uh, tone mapping if necessary. Or let's see. Um, brightness contrast. Let's increase the contrast a little bit. I'm pressing shift to slow down. I don't want to be up. Yes, this is not so bad like that. Okay. So as you can see, I have this result. Uh, this is not so bad. Uh, I still have some details here. This is nice. Uh, maybe increase up, uh, decrease the ruggedness to see more my uh, object. Or less. Up. If I make a metallic part, oh, it could be nice also to have something metallic. Yes, I like it. Increase. Ah, oh, not so bad. Let's try to change the color. Something blue, maybe. Up. Yes, this isn't so bad. Okay. Um, as you can see on my material, on this one, I have some noise here. So that will give me this kind of result. So like that, this is not flat. Because if uh, I enter the value, the, norm, uh, the normal map value to zero, I will, as you can see, I lose everything. So let's go back 0 0.0125. That will give me something nice. Maybe 400. No, too big. Let's keep it to 600. And this is not so bad. Okay. So as you can see, uh, I have absolutely everything inside the 3D view. I didn't add to go inside the uh, compositor to edit it, the add-on will create automatically uh, the node I want to add. Uh, not you. Up, go back here. Let's remove this one. And uh, the result is not so bad. 
it was fast and this is not uh, perfect i made it fast okay so now let's set the render uh, what i can do uh, is on cycle and decrease this to uh, let's see this okay i don't want to have too many uh, settings uh, on my camera i can uh, double this uh, let's set it to uh, to to save these settings and uh, let's just press render it will render a 4k image with this sample okay the render is done uh, it was in 4k so as you can see this is not so bad uh, ta -ta 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 -ta. resize no. and i think i will decrease the um, the bloom effect here even if it's interesting like that and maybe increase the uh, the other part so what i can do i can do it here like that if i hide the glare logically i should have it uh, updated here but i'm not sure it will if it will be updated uh, in the viewport it's okay but as you can see here uh, let's go back no not you let's I need to come here. Let's go back in this. As you can see, uh, now I will press M and M. It will do this. Okay, so as you can see, it works. So let's uh, decrease the power of this one, uh, 25. I have to wait a little bit. Uh, size 4. Yes, 3. And uh, no, I will keep 4. And in fact, this was the opposite side. Up uh, like that, 0.67. Okay, so we still have it. This is pretty small, so this is nice. Uh, maybe using 8 and up uh, using 5 for this. Okay, and for the dispersion, let's use 0.2. I can see everything. Okay, so that's it. Uh, this is just a test. I made this really fast. Most of the time when you make a render, you need to come back uh, the other day, uh, the next day to be exact, and change everything because oh, I don't like this, I don't like this. Maybe I could have added some uh, rim light on different parts. As you can see, we don't really see the... Uh, since I changed the color of the, of the ground, we don't really see the uh, gobos part but uh, it works and you can add gobos as you want okay so my render is okay my scene is okay i have everything directly inside the 3d view yep. and i can do whatever i want with the add-on so i hope you will uh, like it and i hope you already like it if you uh, buy it i bought it and i will continue to improve it see you later with another uh, video and tutorial